have you ever thought how hard it is for us to bring a movie to national attention work harder mm-hmm. smarter we work overtime and that's how create these movies we are not smoking anything <laughs> <laughs> I I really enjoyed your last film Sarah's but I could not imagine that the director of that film could also make this thank you where did this come from it's a it's a great team work actually we are very humble to be here and we are very thankful to all the people who came here to watch our film and to take some time to uh, appreciate our hard work it's pure team work actually uh, we are full team is here and uh, we are very, very thankful to the malayali who, who created the script already in uh, 2018 i just had to uh, pen down those uh, newspaper cuttings and the tv visuals only so i am really thankful to the people of kerala and people uh, uh, around the world who all loved this film so it's uh, sheer hard work and it's a great team i got and i am very very grateful to the whole team especially the producer venu kondu please sir uh, andro joseph sir and thank you very much he he guys deserves a special round of applause because this was a very hard film to make right you shot 13 days in 2019 then the pandemic hits um, it's many years right and and i read that people were saying to you uh forget about it can't be done uh also saying to you since you have dates of all these amazing actors just make different films with them <laughs> right <laughs> but here's a producer who stuck through this which takes nerves of steel how did you do it actually uh in 2019 uh, jude started this one but uh, i came in picture only 2022 uh, only you know and uh, they shot that uh, that time i think uh, 12 or 13 days we didn't use any anything from that one we freshly uh, started the film and when he narrated the story uh, you know i actually it was not like a script because you know, i know what what all this happened in kerala the flood i was there i was there that time then uh, and you know uh, what i feel uh, it was uh, it was like a normal story because you know there there was not much uh, cinematic things in the story you know firstly i thought that it will be a challenge but i know his uh, caliber then you know always i am ready to take a risk then uh, we thought that you know let try but you know we got a very good result now and i should uh, appreciate the director because you know it, it was uh, his vision only when he narrated the story never i expected this kind of a movie that was the real uh, real thing when the three of you he told you this story did you envision this could you see it to be no you didn't want to do it in the beginning right <laughs> even none of us <laughs> the reason was different for me i know because because you thought that people might because you actually worked when the floods you happened you didn't do it how did you do it <laughs> no he said he had a technique and he didn't tell me what the technique is so that was a first lure and he had a blueprint or something which he followed and kept with him he never showed it to anyone and he told me if you are not doing this movie i am not doing this and i was emotionally <laughs> broken okay and um he narrated me the script and gave me the script to read and i read the script and i cried not one time many times so i didn't want to miss this movie for any reason so i said yes and when he said this i didn't know what technique he had but the kind of confidence he had when he told me that i wanted to trust him asavit tanvi for you for me uh, i i i read almost uh, three versions of the script i wanted this to be very cinematic 
I never wanted something like a you know document I mean documentary kind of filmmaking I wanted to be very cinematic because this is something which happened in our generation which we all have experienced so I wanted it to be more real more more kind of, more kind of, more kind of filmy so I went uh, almost three times through the final screenplay and he's the man he yeah. he made this <laughs> he took all the effort you know the four years he spent for the film i i had almost 20, uh, 20 almost 20 days shoot even to to we had 25 days of shoot each of us had like uh, 20 25 days of shoot but this guy went through 3 years for this film and i had around 50 days of shooting <laughs> <laughs> 50 days in water i will never forget this <laughs> place get to that but tanvi what was it for you so for me um, it was anthony sir who called me first so he just told me you'll get a call and uh, jod anthony is the director and i was half way there i just wanted to say yes he i just wanted him to call and then say yes and then that was actually my second movie i, I just started my career and this was the second call i'm getting and then is when i got to know the this is the base i mean uh, the floods what happened in 2018 is the base and then we started shooting so i was also part of uh, this movie since the early uh, stages of the shoot and then due to many many reasons it got delayed and i guess for around two and a half three years it got delayed and i used to keep messaging you you write in between asking for the rocket because i could hear people asking me uh, i had put a photo with tovino and then each and every person i meet they what happened to that movie and i'm like yeah it's coming up it's coming up and then um, obviously then people were saying maybe they've dropped it because it's been really long and then again we started shooting which i was really happy and i guess it's been a long wait for me also and then finally uh, seeing the entire teams each and every cast and crew's hard work uh, throughout and then finally seeing this movie in big screen uh, seeing the reaction and response from people and like the standing ovation we get at the end of the movie i guess i just cannot <laughs> explain on how happy that reading is so you created a set and then basically just flooded it <laughs> that right? was a technique <laughs> yeah, the blueprint <laughs> that was the blueprint right so what was a day on this set like uh, you know what were you guys just drenched through it for me it starts after the sunset <laughs> till the sunrise oh actually if you can uh, uh, my dop my uh, art director my editor is here and uh, music director is going for yeah, rotation yes right there was, oh, yeah <laughs> yeah done a very fantastic job so the 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 plan was very tight the the master plan was very berlin on papers but <laughs> it, it's it's very difficult to uh, uh, execute the plan because we have so many thoughts and we all are like the hard working human beings at night because uh, everybody was in the water uh, especially dop was uh, in the water till his neck i guess so those <laughs> nights were so really terrible nights we had but uh, all those hard work uh, paid off very well and the whole team is very thankful for that everybody is here my full team is here i am just missing my uh, sound designer vishnu govind because he is busy with some uh, other film and nobin for the Mr. Dar, he has gone for vacation. Don Vincent, uh, another guy who who, uh, uh, who did the uh, additional background score, he has also gone for vacation. And many other people, my ADs, after my associates. After this film, everybody, everybody wanted vacation <laughs> after this. Everybody wanted so badly. <laughs> so he, uh, he was just calling me and saying that please mention my name because he is he, so proud that uh, we all are very much proud uh, to be part of this movie. So. this is a, uh, as i said earlier this is a team work and i am really humbled by this uh, reception in <coughs> mumbai which like our dream is to make a film which can be reached to uh, all the indians uh, uh, at least if you say so uh, we are very thankful to be here and uh, uh, i don't know what to say but uh, <laughs> we are like speechless to <laughs> he was the captain of the ship and he was not the one who stood behind he was in the front to lead us and usually what happens is directors will be having a very safe place with the monitor with the mic and the all set up and 
us actors will be drenched in the water or wherever we are will be and judeden was very different from that he he is generally hyperactive and he and, was and very short tempered and very short tempered <laughs> but that is the highlight <laughs> and he was in the water with us and at 5 in the morning like generally we start shooting at 6 in the evening till 6 in the morning so we'll wait for the sun to come up to stop the shooting generally what happens is we'll wait for the sun to go down to show, uh, stop shooting and he was in the water with a rain coat with a piece of paper and a pen and he has written the number of shots all the shots which he has to take that day and he he'll, he'll strike one after um, we shoot it and my uh, our dop he is a very friend of mine we used to do short films back in 2011 and he was the director back then and uh, he was he also shot kala kala and yes. kala's uh, director rohit was the production controller in that short film <laughs> and so <laughs> no, seriously seriously so, the best short film ever look what came out of it <laughs> <laughs> maybe so, not <laughs> okay. but uh, that was in 2011 right. it was just beginning yes yes we didn't know anything back then and we uh, we worked in forensic kala and now in this movie i know him very well he is generally very lazy but when it comes to work like I, I, he is very hard working and when judetan says okay let's shoot this shot then he will be like i don't want to shoot okay give me the camera that, that's it like he doesn't want to move his body at all because it's very cold it's very cold but he didn't want to uh, say no to whatever he says and i've seen the them fighting like the, the i've point. seen them fighting and i tried once i tried breaking the fight and i wanted jota hey, please hey, agile please shoot yeah come let's shoot then both of them went both sides <laughs> <laughs> then i was like okay what am i, I doing here <laughs> i am the star here and i am standing in the water and they have gone so i went to the caravan after some time i saw both of them coming into my garden come let's shoot <laughs> and i asked okay now you, you you compromise we are like husband and wife we'll fight every day but it doesn't mean that we are going to divorce come on let's shoot that's how the shoot went on but but right he's a man possessed right he went through four years you know writing rewriting i read that you finally used the 14th draft 12th draft 12th draft okay So he's obsessed with this idea. He needs to make it happen. But the three of you, did you ever have a day on set where you're like, I'm just sitting here. I'm wet. Like, what's going on? Why did I say yes to this? Did you ever have that moment? <laughs> no, because I was never in water. <laughs> <laughs> you were <don't> dry. <laughs> but we were like completely in water. Yes. So we ever? didn't have an option. One one day while we were doing the helicopter sequence. So. it was very cold it was 2 or 3 in the night and there was this rain unit pouring rain on us and we had this two propellers suspended on a crane to recreate the um, wind from the helicopter and it was very cold and i wanted to run away from the sets and uh, uh, i i cannot sleep with all these uh, wet clothes and all and i wanted to run away and i was like like i was angry but I, i don't show them out but i was like why did i, I come with this movie <laughs> i was a software engineer why did i choose this profession that's why <laughs> it, it was that cold and i was about to complain that's when i so sandhu kumari chechi uh, she is a very senior, senior artist, artist. Um, you can see uh, in that airlift sequence she she is a she is the one who comes out of the bus and says they are talking let them talk it's her she is about 70 and while i was complaining while i was uh, being angry i saw her uh, like for every shot she is very actively participating she doesn't have a caravan she doesn't have assistance nothing but she was she was my inspiration i thought okay how can i complain i am young i work out i say i am healthy no i am not then i didn't complain from that day i stopped complaining i stopped thinking that way 
if she can do that there, i should there were so many like uh, supporting cast they were 5 years old they were 70 years old you know everybody was uh, having that same spirit and the uh, ebin the child the child <coughs> his role was not easy at all like when you are lying down your face up and when rain is falling on your face how do you act dead yeah. it's not easy like i've been there it's not easy and while i'm doing this the um, C- cpr yeah. after the shot he'll open his eyes and chata padke and <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's a kid and he after the shot he is telling please don't push <laughs> so hard <laughs> so and he uh, while shooting also the way he screams way he performs yeah. for us it was like real we, we, we came to the mood just yeah. because of that scream yeah yeah and sudeesh shetan if i start mentioning names i love to mention every name like everyone everyone stood together even lal sir lal sir narendra yeah. narendra yeah. 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 everyone like this is uh, a recreation of what happened in two, 2018 in in another sense also all these artists all these technicians we all came together and we had this feeling that this is our movie we have to make this movie if we all are busy with our own movies but this movie was special so we had to um, like manage our dates so that we all can come together and we have acted in many movies together but we haven't had never in a frame in a frame <laughs> we haven't had a single combination shot Even we have done uire virus virus, virus yeah. youtube routers YouTube but never in a single frame together so we all wanted this movie to all of us were over. very emotionally connected to, to this film of course of course that, that that was the common factor that was the common energy pulling us chu how did you decide between practical in camera effects and digital effects yeah actually the main uh, credit goes to the art director and uh, dop and the uh, vfx team uh, mindstein studios is the name of the vfx company and we have uh, sat together uh, for at least a, around 16 meetings i guess um, before the shoot we had this uh, storyboard thing and we had planned what to shoot and what to not shoot the c sequences were the major portions in the um, vfx uh, area so only uh, around 160 shots and only i think oru uh, 10 shots were the major uh, vfx portion other full portions were was shot on a, a location called uh, vaikam in kerala so the entire uh, credit goes to my full team the art director the dop the editor the uh, vfx supervisors the guys who worked in the uh, vfx team because we finalized the portion only on may 1st i guess because i was uh, talking to the team uh, vfx guys saying that it's not completed you have to still work again and again because if, if it comes to uh, ott no one should take a screenshot and say that the cg is very bad so <laughs> they, are, they are still working on it uh, we can do better okay, if we see the film now me and my dop my uh, editor and uh, everybody was talking like that we should Yeah, yeah, should have done better so so that's a team spirit and the pre production was the main highlight of this film so we ha- we had time we uh, took many many meetings and many discussions so that was the plus point of this uh, hard work like we did the homework very nice so when you guys were shooting this did you because it's very recent right it's not like you know it's not a old story that you're telling it's very fresh in people's memory and there's always a thin line between you know telling a story with empathy but you could also be exploiting a horrific tragedy which you know resulted in almost 500 deaths and you bring that empathy every character is so moving and and every you know you you want to reach out to them I mean when you went in for those certificates I wanted to scream and say don't do it. Mm. <laughs> you know, right. Please this is such a bad idea. How did you find that balance when you were writing it? I thank to uh, 
all the filmmakers who did films like uh, the my seniors in uh, Malayalam industry and uh, Indian cinema and to the extent uh, world cinema also. So I thank all the filmmakers who did the same thing before. They have done it before. They have showed us the human emotion is the best way to convey a film. Like the uh, there's a shot in um, Jurassic Park. I am not comparing my film with <laughs> Jurassic Park. I'm just saying there is one shot with a glass of water and when the dinosaur is coming, this shot is showing just the water is uh, trembling. Yes, trembling. So that's how they did it. So they have already used this idea and I had to just copy it from many filmmakers. So I thank all the filmmakers in the world. <laughs> Inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Inspired yeah. Copying uh, inspiration, whatever it, it, it may, but uh, I really thank, uh, thank you all the filmmakers in the world, uh, especially my guru. Like, uh, uh, I haven't worked with uh, Parida Sensor, but he's my guru. So he has done many things. He has shot the film Kalapani in uh, 43 days. So that's a magic uh, he has done already. This is how we should inspire from uh, other people. My plan is to uh, be, a, be a better filmmaker, be a better human being uh, after each and uh, every film. So this is my tribute to my gurus in the world, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> so of course the film is a smash hit. Right? Um, shows are being added to, you know, I've been looking at your social media. Uh, there's just such elation around it. You know, do you feel as a producer sort of validated? Because you've, you know, you've stood through it. I mean, finally, you're writing the check. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's a tough position to be in. Uh, do you feel that this is the kind of movie that would bring people back into theatres because that's now the whole conversation, right? That how do we get people back in? You know, when uh, the shooting and the post-production was uh, going on, you know, actually, uh, my expectation was not this much. I thought that, you know, we can do good business in uh, OTT, satellite and all. And in Kerala, maybe we can do some business. Because, you know, uh, this uh, in 23, almost uh, 75 movie released and I think one movie only uh, worked out. That is the situation. That, that means, you know, the people are not coming to many reason. We don't know the reason actually. You know, in, uh, out of this uh, 74, there was a lot of good movies also. But, you know, firstly, uh, I saw, you know, after all the work, I saw the movie. Then uh, I think... Uh, before uh, release, maybe like uh, two weeks before. Then I thought that def definitely it will work. Then we start the promotion and all, and the people are uh, you know in uh, everywhere, not only in Kerala, everywhere, even out, uh, outside Kerala in uh, GCC, everywhere it is. It is still it is running a uh, full house. In uh, UAE, you know, it is like a uh, because uh, normally the regional film, uh, the first three days, you know, the weekend days, and normally people are watching like. A, uh, 40,000, uh, 40,000, 50,000 only. Our movie already watched or, uh, around 170,000. That is, that is We have got our own Hombale films. Kage <laughs> 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 films. There was some budget, I don't want to tell the figure. But you know, it is gone up like 50 percentage. Then also, you know, never I come like to Jude like or uh, our art, art director is there. He is the man for uh, increasing the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> For every liter of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you know, art expense almost increased 100 percentage, double. Then also, you know, he is doing nice job. Everything is going well, you know. That means I cannot tell, I cannot uh, every day going and complain. Sometimes I was uh, sending message, you know, the total. <laughs> and I like was the and then suddenly he will uh, take a scene. <laughs> Uh, he'll go with Chaman to the producer and show the sure. scene and he'll be like, okay, okay, okay. Check this out, check this out. <laughs> That's right. Your but work speaks, right? To add on, actually, there are there were actually a lot of inspiring stories what happened in 2018. So, uh, I wasn't there. I wasn't in Kerala when the floods happened and then uh, when I came to the set also, uh, almost every crew members or all the actors whom I've met, they were in the floods when it happened and then listening their stories and then uh, talking to uh, Juliet and, and Akhil who is a co-writer of this uh, movie. I've heard a lot, many stories which I think uh, Juliet has incorporated uh, maybe a half of it uh, and conveyed it in two and a half hours on whatever he could. 
so i think <laughs> for all the hard work i think he deserves he deserves yeah, okay everything what sure. the world is giving him the team actually i am saying this because uh, there is each and every uh, people uh, involved in this film they they work really hard so uh, are the, the uh, actors the team members the uh, junior artists if you say so the uh, the team the drivers the um, production team everybody everybody in the team was working really hard and they were uh, they were saying like we are part of a uh, we are part of a history so they all believed me so if i couldn't do it then i i was the waste guy in the team so <laughs> because everybody was saying we are we are making a history yeah, we were recreating, recreating something recreating which history, have so you know we that, have experienced that, so badly that love was very much have enough to do this film so. affected so badly correct everybody on the sets had that feeling because everybody was in the water everybody had a the story the only person who was not in the water was the editor because his <laughs> laptop because to safeguard his laptop he'll sit he is the only person sitting uh, outside the tank water tank you know you you said that uh, when there were many dops who quit the project right uh, and there was one leading dop of the malayalam film industry who said to you that water is impossible to work with and you can't make this film and you said to him that maybe you can't but i can I, I, <laughs> and he proved it actually if uh, my uh, this is like like when i studied my uh, like the uh, engineering and all there was this one day one when i went to a stage in uh, uh, my college for a um, mimicry competition i was i thought that i am a good mimicry artist then everybody was like um, they were uh, angry at me and the the entire show was a flop and the next week uh, someone in the in my college asked me like if you uh, get on stage stage again uh, i challenge you like that so this challenging and this uh, <laughs> pressurizing is very Motivated. I like this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> That motivates me more. It works. It works. <laughs> so the next year I went on stage again and I won the second prize. You won the challenge again. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know you were going to do it, but I'm telling you. So I, I, uh, do you dare my request is that. Do you dare to make another movie with me? <laughs> I challenge you. Yes, I accept <laughs> the challenge. <laughs> Yeah, actually, this is an uh, inspiration to everybody because I am not that um, talented. I, 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 I am very normal person. I have my limitations, but if you try your best with the with the help of your team, you can achieve everything. Because this is like a huge success. We haven't uh, expected this much reception from people, and we are getting so many messages. I, I am I am not able to take calls. Uh, so this is very huge. I am really thankful to all. Thank you. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I read that you all have promised each other. Or oh, on the last day of shoot, um, you said to each other that you'll all meet on the hundredth day of the theatrical run. Is we, that still a plan? Yeah, we were that sure about this film. We all are confident. Actually, we uh, these people are very busy with the shoot, but they came to Mumbai with us in this uh, busy schedule. That's because we, they love this movie and. they want to be part of this uh, success so uh, uh, we are missing so many guys here my team is in kerala so i request my producer to give the grand success the grand success celebration yeah. he will do that uh, we are planning we are planning a 100 day celebration in las vegas he is very massive <laughs> <laughs> he is very massive actually he has so many plans uh, he is a Can you stop committing to anything right now? <laughs> Not even writing a check. <laughs> no, actually, he has many uh, visions. Actually, because uh, he has planned to show the film in LA, but we couldn't do it. But he will do that. Uh, that's the power he has. When is the LA <laughs> premiere? I don't block my date. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys with that opening it up to the house do we have questions here Hello sir Hello Hello So I loved the movie and I really expect this movie to come in pan India scale in which needs to be dubbed in uh, other languages and it released is, It is it is coming It's okay. coming It's coming so, 12th right Yeah we are planning on uh, 12th this is coming 12th of Friday. this month 
ओके दैट्स दैट्स एक्चुअली ग्रेट सो दिस मूवी नीड्स टू बी प्रमोटेड ऑन नेशनल स्केल बिकॉज इट्स सच अ ग्रेट मूवी टू सी मीन्स देर आर मेनी मीडिया का फिल्म विच कम इन पैन इंडिया स्केल बट दिस मूवी नीड्स टू बी कम ऑन पैन इंडियन स्केल You know, I saw this is the second film which I have seen of yours. I loved Meenal Modli, and now this is this is even better. Like I feel as if you know these two films. You've been like Jesus, Allah. You've been like uh, you know Krishna, the savior, the superhero. And I only have one thing. You know, in that film, in Meenal Modli, did you spot him? Yeah. He was uh, my co-artist in that. Oh, okay. director. I'm an actor too. <laughs> yeah, he's an actor. So you know, I just ah. Uh, You no know, in that film obviously you wanted to run away to the US and in this film you want to run away to the UAE I mean why would you want to leave god's own country No it's it's not the country it's not the uh, particular space it's the people around him that makes him think that he wants to run away but actually it's the same people for whom he uh, like dedicates his life in the end in both the movies So I think it's at some point of time when we are being ridiculed when we are the odd one we all feel that we should run away from this space but at some point we'll find our importance in that society and we'll stay back mr s s rajamouli uh, said that he's envious of uh, the writers and directors in malayalam cinema right now because of the kind of content that you all have been producing so as an industry how do you look at um, you know the kind of changes that are being seen in the industry the kind of stories that you all want to tell that the industry has become very story driven in uh, in in recent years the question is to you <laughs> <laughs> no the I question mean, is to the, the question I've been is to the king this question for like 5 years <laughs> i remember sitting here in the same theater with ashik and and after virus we screened virus here and i was like What are you guys smoking? How are you doing this? <laughs> no, we don't smoke. Like <laughs> And so I, I have exactly been asking the same question. How are you guys doing it so consistently? What is the secret sauce? But you know something. Have you ever thought how hard it is for us to bring a movie to national attention? Our budget is very less. Yeah. We work in very limited constraint, constrained budget and. we don't have any extra vaginza and when we are working in a movie our salary is a very small percentage of the movie's budget and we all work for with the passion we we don't work for money we we'll always like, make sure it's uh, purely content driven and we wanted it to be like that only and and just imagine uh, we are a small state in the in the um, southernmost corner of india and we have been not not us our pioneers we, they have been making very good movies but just imagine when our movie releases it releases in very less number of theaters i wish more distributors came to distribute malayalam movies we don't want them to distribute it for free or just out of the love let them watch the movie if they like it if they distribute our movies it will be great and I, after releasing it in ott or after people watch it in telegram we getting appreciation it's not <laughs> worth it it doesn't do any good to any of us so just understand it's very hard for us to bring a movie in in front of the country it's very hard from the southern most part we are trying our best but not every producer is going to spend so much money for promotions like our movies budget may be lesser than the promotion budget of a biggest movie in bollywood so maybe this constraint this constraints makes us work harder yeah. smarter we work overtime and that's how create these movies we are not smoking anything <laughs> <laughs> we just love cinema that's it and and let me say you guys are doing spectacular work uh, it is it's been the joy of my life to to discover and i'm ashamed to say discover so late but to discover and really kind of deep dive into malayalam cinema it's just and you have been very supportive right. yeah, I love yeah. it. we have to tell you that my name is shri and i'm a fan of the film and all of you so as actors and also as a director and creator how difficult is it to is it for you to shift genres because uh, to we know you've done something like a tallu mala which is 
very different from what you've done here and you've done something like an om shanti oshana which is very different from what you've done here again so how dif- difficult or dif- different is it to deal with these subjects and yeah uh, actually we are just <coughs> concentrating on good scripts actually so we are not um, finding it difficult to uh, shift through genres actually i i'm just looking for good scripts good uh, writers so my plan is to make good films which people might like so genres is never an issue for me actually so i i don't know for the other filmmakers but what what i'm saying is that we all uh, try to make good films so that must be uh, different genres like uh, tallumala and uh, premam like maheshan pratigaram so we have done so many films and the uh, filmmakers are they have already Uh, done so many great films in uh, dilish potani is role in industry liju pelisheri uh, many 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 great filmmakers so we are all are like uh, inspired from those filmmakers so that's the magic i guess thank you guys it's been such a pleasure to see this film with all of you uh, and thank you all for coming and being such a wonderful audience 